glass is considered to be the oldest product for making artifacts in the world. The oldest finds in Egypt have been dated to around 3,500 years old. And from ancient times, sand has been the most important component. Just as important as fire is for melting the glass mass, its classical counterpart, water, is equally vital when molding glass. Access to large quantities of fuel was critical when Holmogor's glassworks was established in 1825. The peat from the estate's 1,100 acres of marshes served as natural fuel, and so spared the limited amount of Danish woodland available. Today, the glassworks use natural gas. Glass can be made by melting sand alone, but adding soda and chalk allows the melting temperature to be reduced. The glass house is the main workshop for hand-blown glass. It's here that the glass blowers start their working day around the glass furnace, almost as they did 175 years ago. Overnight, the glass mass mixed with recycled broken glass has been melted in the furnace. The glass blower dips a long metal rod called a blowing pipe into the molten glass and extracts a lump of glass by turning it round. The lump of glass is rolled into shape using a wet wooden form until it's symmetrical. Blowing a little air in the pipe makes the glass lump expand. When the glass is approximately the right shape, it's put into a wet mold. This creates a layer of steam between the glass and the mold, which gives the glass its smooth surface and cools it. The glass now has its basic shape and passes to the stem maker. A small blob of glass is added and the stem is drawn out. The glass then passes to the foot maker who makes the foot of the glass from a new lump of glass. A slight tap releases the glass from the pipe and it's set aside for cutting off, which gives the glass its finished shape. Glass has to be cooled slowly, or stresses can build up in the glass. So the glass is passed through a cooling tunnel, which over a period of three to four hours brings the temperature down from between five to six hundred degrees Celsius to room temperature. When the glasses have cooled, they're closely checked. However, Holmogor's quality control does not stop there. Glasses are polished and inspected before they can be approved as finished goods. Currently, about two million hand-blown glasses are made every year at Holmogor's Glassworks. The glass blowers are proud to continue our 175-year-old tradition for quality. Quality which has been essential for enabling the glassworks to have survived all these years. Today, it is regarded as the forerunner for all Danish glassworks. When you watch these skillful glass blowers at work, you will recognize many of the successful glass products which have led the way in Danish artistic glassware over the years. Developments reflect the times. There is constant experimentation with new shapes and colors. Holmogor is known for its beautiful series of glasses, decanters, vases, and bowls. 
they have become part of the Danish artistic scene. They are an expression of Danish tradition, style and design. 175 years ago, the glassblowers lived in tied housing at Holmegård's Glassworks, so they were on hand 24 hours a day, depending on when the molten glass was ready. Nowadays, the glassblowers work under more favorable conditions. But even though the staff have gone home, the furnaces never stop. 24 hours a day, an eternal flame burns the very heart of Holmogol's glassworks.